Welcome back to the channel. This is Junior from CR4200. We got a really, really cool video for you guys today. I've been thinking about this video for a long time. Today, we're finally gonna do it. As you can see behind me on the table, we got one, two, three, four, five, six different items. These are common household items, things you find around the house. And I just wanna see today, which of these common household items could maybe save your life, uh, if so need be. Uh, we'll be running through my Canik uh, TP9 Elite SE. This is nine millimeter, which is the most common uh, round used uh, for home invasions, most common round used for robberies uh, is the nine millimeter. So that's what we'll be using today. Uh, we'll probably go one at a time. I'll take, I got my son out here at the range with me. I'll let him take some shots and uh, we'll just see what happens. I'm really, really excited to uh, see which of these, if any of them can stop this nine millimeter round uh, in the event that someone needed it. All right, first up, we're gonna see what this iron can do. You know, a lot of times you see in, in movies that guys hide behind different objects and uh, stopping bullets, but we're gonna put it to the test today and see what actually can stop it. All right, let's go check it out. All right, we did flip the iron over the table here. Let's pick it up and see. All right, well, Straight out of the gate, the iron uh, caught the round here from the nine millimeter and came clear out of the backside. So no, iron zero, nine millimeter one. Iron cannot stop a bullet. So let's line up the kitty litter and uh, see what happens. All right, next up we got a box of kitty litter and let's see if it can stop a nine millimeter. All right, son. Let's see if it went through. The entry here on this side. And moment of truth, could kitty litter save your life? Oh, the kitty litter stopped it. It did not go through. So one shot from a nine millimeter at close range. If you're in a jam, you can grab you a box of kitty litter. And uh, man, uh, I'm impressed. So obviously we know sand is really, really good at uh, stopping bullets. Uh, military police use those sandbags, but hey, a box of kitty litter uh, can save your life. So at the end of the video, I'll probably let my son put four or five rounds in and see just how many it takes to get all the way through finally this kitty litter. But one round, uh, it stopped it. So right now, the nine millimeter is one in one. It did defeat the iron, but it lost to the kitty litter. So let's get our magazines and stack them up and see what happens. All right, I got this little bag from the dollar store. You can see, so obviously it's a dollar. You can stuff about 10 magazines inside. So you can have that sitting beside your bed. A little flexible armor to see if it can stop. Nine millimeter. All right, let's go check it out. So there's the entry. And it did it. I don't even feel a bulge here on the back side. So we'll probably line this back up again at the end. I'll let my son put in a bunch of rounds and see how many rounds it takes to finally get through the stack of magazines. So like I said, man, you can get a little bag like this from the dollar store. Have it sitting right beside your bed. And uh, in the event you needed it, pick it up, strap it on, and you're ready to go. But well, obviously, we know those magazines. We had 10 magazines stacked up stop that paper everybody got a bunch of magazines sitting around the house next we got two books both of these books came from the dollar store they were a dollar each a couple of books we got a two liter set up behind it so let's see if uh this can stop stop a nine all right well i don't see any explosion from that soda bottle so there's the entry, flip it around. It looks like it caught the bullet. So again, talking about a couple of bucks here, $2, a dollar for each book, and a little bit of tape, and you stop the nine millimeter. So we got a couple more things we're gonna test, so let's line up and get it done. All right, next up, we got a ream of paper. That ream of paper is like $3.50 at Walmart. Got it another one of these little bags from the dollar store. So again, for about five bucks, let's take this shot with the nine millimeter and uh, see if we get another stop. Did 
could not get a stop. Went through. Uh, so one ream of paper was not enough to stop the nine millimeter. So right now a nine millimeter got two and our common household items also have two. So let's line up uh, with the TV and uh, take another shot. Okay, we got the TV set up. You guys know a lot of time when you watch these movies, uh, TV shows, you guys hiding behind furniture and TVs and different stuff. So we got this flat screen set up. So my son's gonna put four or five rounds through and and see uh, see if any of them make it through the other side. All right, son. Go check out the damage. Obviously, we got four rounds in. We'll go around the back side. So it looks like one made it through there. Uh, another made it through right there. That one made it through also. And that one made it through. So it looks like the TV was an epic fail. All four made it through. So let's line that kitty litter back up. We're gonna put that kitty litter back on the table and see how many rounds it takes to make it through. And we'll do the same with the magazine. All right, so I wanna show you guys the ammo that we're running through. We got just some Winchester white box, 147 grain, jacket to hollow point, And that is what they look like. All right, so let's me the rounds it takes to get through this kitty litter, my man. Went through the side there and see how many actually made it through the back side of the kitty litter. So before he hit the side of the box, it looks like maybe only one actually made it through the kitty litter. And obviously when we hit the side, uh kind of opened this up and you had kitty litter pouring out. Uh just for grins, we're gonna turn it the other way and see if see how it does holding the shot. Alright, so let's take a shot this way. Just for grins and see what happens. Take a couple. All right. I see the grass jumping behind it. So, yep, all of those went through that way. All right, so we're gonna put the magazines back up and see how many rounds it takes to make it through those magazines. All right, we're back. We're gonna let my son take some shots with the magazines here. All right, son. See if any of those made it through. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so none of those made it through. Uh, he put four or five shots on the same side and it's probably not happy in there, but man, none of them made it through. So I think all in all today, what we learned is these magazines, especially in something cheap like this, work really, really well. Um, put four or five shots through, same spot. The magazines didn't make it all the way through. All right, so you guys saw from today's test and today's video for a few bucks, you know, a few common household items around the house can probably stop a nine millimeter. There was obviously some things that the nine millimeter didn't stop, but these magazines work like a charm. This was really, really fun. We'll probably do this again at some point really, really soon. Get a bunch of household items together, come out and uh, see if we can stop a nine millimeter and what can't. 
Uh, this was really, really fun. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Make sure you hit that like button for us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for us. Share this video. This is a really fun video. I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, we'll be back real soon with a lot of more videos for you guys. Junior, 